Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. Okay, we are just about ready to start up Great Bay Temple, but before we do that, I am going to actually soar somewhere else real quick to take care of something. So where we're gonna go, um, I bet you won't be able to guess, we're going to Snowhead, that's right. We are gonna have to go here and defeat Goat one, hopefully one last time. Um, because we're gonna need it to be spring for just one more side quest that we're gonna have to take care of, so... Um, basically, we're gonna have to do this entire sequence, um, which is going to take a little while for me, but of course not for you, because as per usual, I'm going to cut all this out. So, I'll see you after we beat Goat. Alright, so it is springtime in Snowhead once again, and as you can see, we've got a little frog here on the lily pad. We're actually gonna do something with him this time. So if we turn around and put on Don Jero's mask that we got for uh, saving that one Goron by giving him the Rock Sirloin, if you remember. So let's put it on. I have been waiting for you, Don Jero. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. As you can see, Don Jero, the long winter has ended and spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our course. Unfortunately, it seems not all of our members have gathered. Perhaps it is because winter was too long. They must not have realized that spring has come to the mountains. And when the great Don Jero has come for us, too. What a pity. Where in the world could the other members be, and what could they be doing? So yeah, of course that's going to start up another little side quest to find all the members of the frog choir here and bring them back to the mountains. One of them is actually inside of Great Bay Temple, which is why I'm pretty much waiting until now to take care of it. But um, now we've pretty much made all our preparations and we are ready to head into Great Bay Temple. So we're going to fly back to uh, Zora Cape. And this time we're actually going to uh, console Lulu a little bit instead of just kind of leaving her there. So let's go, uh, yeah, Zora Cape. Alright, and here we are, back on this little overlook. Now, if you want, it might not be a bad idea, since I know most people don't really like this temple too much. Um, it might be a good idea to sort of smash some of these pots. You can see there's actually a fairy in one of them, so that can help out a little bit. And also, there are usually fairies pretty much by all of the owl statues, except maybe for like the Clock Town one, I guess. But um, you could really fill up on those if you want, so... Um, if you're not feeling too confident, might not be a bad idea, but we'll be fine either way. So uh, now we're going to actually uh, deal with Lulu a little bit here. So let's speak with her. And of course she doesn't say anything. Sad face trying to tell you something, you can see it in her expression. Yep. So let's finally play that one song for her that we learned, you know, this one. Holy crap. That big island turned out to be a big turtle. Who would have guessed? Mm -hmm. ah, I slept quite well. Wow, he is huge, by the way. I just realized this when I opened my eyes. The passing of days is quite quick, isn't it, Lulu? Yes, Lulu, it's nothing to be surprised at. Although my eyes were closed in sleep, I still see everything that occurs in this ocean. Hmm, it seems Lulu is confused. Regrettably, there is no time for idle conversation. Now then, proud Zora warrior. The open seas of Great Bay have need of your might. Quickly, climb onto my back. Uh, easier said than done, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, Lulu is a little confused, and I think we are too, but we're just gonna kind of take the big turtle's word for it. A cow, what's going on? And my voice. What happened to me? Oh yeah, you sung pretty good, by the way. That was actually a really good performance of that song. I have to applaud you for that. But anyway, the, the obvious thing here is that there are two big trees on top of this turtle's back, so we're going to need to use the hookshot in order to get to him. So let's hop on 
And once we do so, we are automatically going to swim out towards the Great Bay Temple. Alright, so now the thing about that scene is that it showed the pirates trying to get in, they get flung away by the whirlpool, and then all of a sudden we're just magically here. I don't know, it seems like they would much rather show us going into the temple than them getting flung out, but whatever. Either way, Link waves goodbye to the turtle there, he was really enthusiastic about that, but it's alright, because he's still back there. So, um, this is Great Bay Temple, pretty much. So right off the bat here, we've got a little bit of something we want to do, make sure you have some arrows before going into this place. Uh, we are going to light each of these torches with a fire arrow. Of course, if you don't have fire arrows and you somehow happen to have Deku sticks, you could use the torches that are down underneath in order to light all these, but um, I don't have any Deku sticks and I have fire arrows, so the choice is pretty obvious. Once we light all of them, a chest is going to appear right in front of the turtle there. It's a pretty awesome spot, if you ask me. Um, then we can go and open it and find, yes, yeah, Stray Fairy number one. As usual, we're going to have to be picking up 15 of those little guys, so... Yep, it's going to be fun stuff. Let's get to it. Okay, so you may already be able to tell that this place is extremely confusing. Well, that's a huge water wheel. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm glad out of everything here, that's what you notice. So, um, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff to do around here. So let's pretty much just tackle everything one at a time. First thing you want to do is actually hop into this water at Zora Link and go down to the bottom. You can see there's a stray ferry underneath our platform here, which is number two. Okay, and now while we're under here, we're going to head back around this corner. You can see there's this little um, circular platform here with some sort of, like, I don't know, lever on it or something. You're going to be seeing a lot of these, and basically these are going to either open or close uh, water pipes. It'll cause water to get through and uh, come up in certain areas. This one in particular is going to make that appear right there, which we're obviously going to have to use to get across. So that's just kind of a little tutorial, I guess. Okay, so that's all that we can do in the water. Now let's head back out onto the land. Now we've got two elevators. We can take one over there to our left and one over here to our right. We're going to take the one to the right first. And uh, with this one, we are going to just kill this guy. Uh, this big skull up here with a fire arrow works. I mean, regular arrows work. Or you can just drop down and kill him with a sword. It's whatever. Uh, but you may have been able to hear that a stray fairy popped out. So let's go ahead and grab it. Any day now. Oh, come on, don't circle around me, man. There we go. Alright, so that's number three. Alright, so uh, yeah, Link is going to be diving a lot. You're probably going to see a few times where we actually just dive onto the land. It's probably going to happen a few times. It almost always does. Um, but now in order to continue on, we're going to take this left elevator and make our way over here. Be careful when jumping onto this platform because there are two big sculptures. You can kind of see their shadows. There's one there and one there. Of course, we can take them out with spin attacks if we want. But, you know, you don't have to. You don't get anything for it. And now we're going to use this column of water that we created earlier in order to jump our way across here. Then we can round this corner and go up the ramp into the next room. And while that was kind of a big room, I would definitely consider this to be the main room of uh, Great Bay Temple. Hmm, I get it. This huge water wheel is powering this thing. Yeah, so the water wheel back there is what's actually powering this. Um, it's kind of causing, as you can see, this little current, this little spiral whirlpool thing to be going on here. And you can definitely see as you look down, there are like a bunch of different uh, passageways that we can go through. So, um, like I said, this is really the main hub of Great Bay Temple, and it can be a little bit confusing to try to get around. Um, but before we tackle any of that, we're going to come over here and up this ladder. There's a barrel on top. We can roll into it, and that will cause straight fairy number four to pop out. Alright, so now it's time to dive down in there, and this is where things start to get a little bit hairy. As you can probably tell, that current is very, very strong. It will significantly influence where you go. I mean, look at this. I'm not touching anything right now, and it's going around this quickly, so... Uh, we're going to have to try to make our way all the way down. Before we check out any of those little openings, we're actually going to just head um, all the way down to the bottom here. And... 
and try to stand here. Now, I can see there's this pot in the middle. This is rather mean, if you ask me. But um, we want to actually try to break this. And as you can see, if you try to do it by punching, it's really not going to work. So what I like to try to do is to sort of try to swim into it, because you can move a little bit faster. Um, it can be somewhat difficult, but you can sort of uh, do it just like that. And you can see there's a stray fairy inside. Now the hard part is going to be to try to grab this thing. Might be better to try to do this on foot. Uh, okay, maybe not, because it's flying up. There it goes. All right, awesome. If all else fails and that really you can't collect it after breaking it, then uh, you could go up top and use the Stray Fairy Mask, but, um, well, it's probably better to just go ahead and try to get it. Alright, so now we're finally going to start checking out these areas. The first one we're going to go to is that one right there. You can tell which ones you can enter and which ones you can't based on the way the, the little fishes are pointing on the wall there. See, that one's pointing the opposite direction, so we can't get quite in there yet. Uh, but we are going to check out this one, since we can, and head on up. And kill some of these skullfish that are going to try to attack us. Um, I don't know if that guy's going to come up or not. We'll leave him alone if he's not. Uh, we got a couple things of interest here. Uh, first thing, I think we want to climb up over here. There's nothing really of interest inside of this pot. But we can see there's a chest, so we can use the hookshot to make our way over there. Alright, and let's open it. And you can see we get the dungeon map, so that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and check it out. Alright, so this one has uh, considerably more areas than the rest of the dungeons we face. And you can see there's a lot of strange, narrow, twisting tunnels that lead between each of them. That's really, I think, the main source of confusion in this place, but... Hopefully, we'll still be alright. It's not too bad if you kind of know your way around. I mean, there are only... Um, I don't know, I'm going to say like five or six tunnels that you can go through in that main room, so... Uh, it's kind of process of elimination, really, I think. Um, now, we're going to want to actually get on that platform. There are some uh, pots there that actually have some uh, have a stray fairy in it. So in order to do that, we're going to need to sort of do this jump as Zora Like It can be a little bit hard to judge, especially because we're kind of at uh, close quarters here. But um, it's not too bad, so let's face it again and try it again. Ooh, there we go. Oh, no! <laughs> he jumped off. Awesome. There we go. All right, so we made it in. We even broke the pot and got the stray fairy in the process. So, hey, that works. Um, you know, I guess it might actually be possible to maybe, like, stand on that platform and shoot an arrow at it and then use the great fairy's mask to grab it. But, um, I don't know. I guess other things to try. But, um, anyway, we're pretty much done in here for now. We can't get up there because the little ledge is too high and there's really no other way to get there. So, uh, for now, we're just going to ignore that door and kill this guy coming at us. Or did we get him? No, I think he just bit me and ran, but anyway, we want to make our way through this tunnel here. Just make sure you have the electricity on when you do so those hands don't grab you. Alright, and as we go through here, we're going to enter a little narrow hallway with some of these bio Deku Babas here. So you can hit them with your electricity if you want to sort of knock them off. We do actually want to kill them all, so uh, we're going to have to drop down and deal with them. Punching them can be a little bit dangerous because Zora Link seems to step forward a lot. I usually just like to wait for them to try to ram into you and then use the electricity. Even if it does use a little bit of magic, of course, that was just kind of running into the corner, though, so... <laughs> you have to grab its attention somehow. Alright, takes care of that one, and, uh, well, I guess that was it. I thought there was another one. But, um, now once we've finished those off, we're gonna climb up onto this lily pad here. And knock this guy down with the hook shot. Like that. And he'll either dive into the water or stay up on that platform. Looks like he's going to dive into the water. So we're going to have to finish him off down there. Okay, there it goes. I was hitting the button and it wasn't doing anything. Alright. So we finish off that guy, and that should be the last one in this room. Once you finish all of them off, a chest is going to appear up there. Um, so yeah, those guys are, can be a little bit annoying to deal with, but uh, hopefully it's not too bad. I don't think I even took a hit there. Alright, so let's jump up there and open it. And we are going to get Stray Fairy number 7. Awesome. So now let's hop our way back across. You can either hop on these or just swim. It doesn't matter because you can just climb up here. And then we can head through the door into the next area. And this is also sort of another big one. I um, mean, it's kind of interesting, but I think this seems like a pretty good place to leave off. So next time we're going to check out this room a little bit more and explore further into Great Bay Temple. Until then, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.